Spider-Man and the Masters of the Universe. A stunning feat of superhero cinema starring the likes of Jake Johnson, Nicholas Coppola, and Haley Seinfeld. This film told the story of young Miles Morley's and combined the talents of Sony animators with traditional hand-drawn comic book techniques to create a unique experience unlike anything seen before on the silver screen. But is it better than Space Jam? Oh, I don't understand this, but I will. Oh, I didn't see you there. My name is Alistair Dillon and I hold PhDs in space and basketball fundamentals with a minor in film history. Today we're going to be discussing Spider-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Was it better than Space Jam? Let's find out. Greetings, it's Alistair Dillon here outside of a movie theater. I'm here with my new friends, a group of young boys who... I believe they just got out of Spider-Man and the Masters of the Universe. What did you guys think of Spider-Man? Right. Yeah, I loved awesome. it. It was that horrible. Was all right. You didn't like it. I said it wasn't horrible. It, it was wasn't horrible. horrible. Well, I've got a movie that wasn't very horrible. It's called Space Jam. Did you guys think Space Jam was better than Spider-Man and the Masters of the Universe? No. I guess not. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's Space Jam a, is iconic. Space Jam it's is like, a legendary. product of corporate greed. Sit down. Corporate greed. That's this movie thing. about magic and science and space and oh. sexy lady bunnies is all corporate greed to you? Oh, that's true. That is a, a little bit, yeah. Well, then I've got a question. You think Spider-Man would be Michael Jordan in a game of basketball? You know, that's a good question. Yes, he would. It yes, is. 100%. You, you have 100%. a good point. You got the what? super agility, you got the webby things, you shoot the webby things the at the balls the ball and throw them into the basketball. The ball would get stuck to his hand. Yeah, but how many have you seen? You know how to control that. Have you seen Spider-Man, the bad one with, what's his face? Uh, the hair? Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Remember yeah, the scene yeah. where he uh, played flash and basketball? Yeah, that's exactly and what happened. And he around and he dunked on him? Very, very smart. Very good points, but how many MVPs and championship rings does Spider-Man have? Michael Jordan has at least five of both. Did Michael Jordan save the world? Yeah. Yes, actually. Yeah, he saved the world yeah. from those death of the monsters. That's the plot. The monsters. Got his talent. Okay, but like, uh, all right, whatever. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the movie? Is there a collective favorite part, or we can just go one by one? Uh, Bryce liked the anime. <laughs> I, you're right. You're right. No, um, I think it was good when uh, Miles got his act together, got the sweet black suit, uh, spray painted a little spider thing on it, and came and saved all the other spiders. Yeah, those. Uh, my favorite true. part was on Stan Lee at the comic book store. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Stan Lee was a little interesting. That was great. Um, I love I that Spider-Man is wearing sweatpants and then he was yeah, he had the dad yeah. bod. Very relatable Spider-Man, I agree. Yes. My favorite part was when he battled Dr. Octopus on that train and then he got his mask torn off and then all the people on the train just kind of crowd surfed him away. It, gave, it was very emotional to me. It was my favorite part in the whole movie. <laughs> I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man's Spider-Verse! I also like the part where Harry Osborn found out the man who killed his father was his best friend Peter Parker. I think we might Played by that James Franco. James Franco. That's that though. was the good all, part. A, yeah. Oh, of course. That was dude. a good part. That's one one of my favorite movies. Alright, well thank you guys for agreeing to sit down and stand up for this interview with me. And, uh, good night and good, good luck. Yeah. And there we have it! Straight from the mouths of the youth of America! And this movie checked a lot of Alistair Dillon's boxes. It had universe crossing, uh, the animation was great, although not as good as Space Jam's, and also all the Spider-Men were fantastic! And the Spider-Woman, and the Spider-Robots, and the pig. Best pig I've seen since Porky's. And this is why Spider-Man and the Masters of the Universe gets a 95% Space Jam, which is almost perfect Space Jam. This is Alistair Dillon. Good night, and good luck.